From a long-lost English king to diamonds in the walls, here are 12 unbelievable discoveries that happened during construction. Number 12. Ancient Ball Court There are some cool discoveries to be made when digging underground, but finding an ancient sports arena might come as a surprise, unless you live in Mexico. Some construction workers were tasked with excavating for a housing development project near Merida in the Yucatan Peninsula. They found some oddly carved pinkish stones and reported it to archaeologists who took over the digging. By the time they were done, they had uncovered an entire court that was over 2,500 years old. It was used for an important ball game played by the Maya and it played a central role in religious and royal ceremonies. The housing development clearly had to be modified. In the state of Yucatan alone, 26 pre-Hispanic ball courts have been discovered. Nearby, a university was about to start building a basketball court for its students, but when they brought in the bulldozer, it crashed into a large stone that was impossible to move. It also had a pinkish hue and looked old, so they called archaeologists in to check it out. Turns out, they had to pick a new spot for their basketball court because the Mayans had already beat them to it. Number 11. An Endangered Spider A rare species of spider was discovered at a construction site near San Antonio, Texas, which brought the $15 million project to a complete halt. It turns out the spider was a Bracken Batcave mesh weaver. Never heard of it? You are not alone. This spider is a non-venomous species that is translucent, and as its name suggests, it lives in caves and has no eyes. How the people actually saw it during a construction project is beyond me, but a spokesperson for the Texas Department of Transportation said that the discovery is only the second time this species has been spotted in over 30 years. Because of the rarity of this spider, the project then became subject to the Endangered Species Act. Construction was stopped immediately because it could ruin the habitat of the spider and potentially wipe it out. There was evidence that there were more of these spiders in the area, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials and the Federal Highway Administration had to decide how to proceed. Ironically, the people in the neighboring areas were happy that the project had to be put on hold. Good news for them, and good news for the spider. Number 10. Cargo Ship from 1773 When the World Trade Center was destroyed, out of all the chaos, construction workers discovered pieces of a ship at the Ground Zero site. These jumbled remains of a wooden ship were quite old, but what was it doing there? How did a cargo ship get under the ground of the World Trade Center? They were just south from where the World Trade Center towers used to stand, about 20 feet below the surface in what is now a parking garage and security center. Archaeologists were called in, and although it took a while, scientists determined the ship had been made in Philadelphia in 1773. Tree ring experts were called in to examine the wood, and archaeologists got really excited. Although we don't know anything about the life of the ship, we do know that it is now a part of New York history. About one-third of Lower Manhattan is man-made, and this ship may have been sunk along with other artifacts from the 1700s to add land. The New York Harbor shoreline crept closer and closer to it, and the ship slowly got buried by trash and landfill, until finally, at around 1818, the ship was buried from sight. Number 9. Medieval Mansion in Somerset, England, a 900-year-old mansion mysteriously vanished. Well, actually, there was no known record of it ever existing. Once again, construction workers were about to get started on a housing development, but before digging, the law requires archaeologists to explore the area first. Since there were no surviving historical records, archaeologists were very surprised to come across such a large estate. The main archaeologist said that a find like this was as rare as hen's teeth. Further examination of the manor confirmed that someone very wealthy lived here at one point in time, or it may be a complex of high-status buildings possibly used for religious purposes. There may have even been a church on the premises. All that's left is the stone foundation and very few artifacts. So now the search is on to find out the story of the medieval complex and what happened to the rest of the house. How is there no record of it? And how did such a large place just disappear? Number 8. An Ancient City While houses might be found underground somewhat often, it's not every day that you find an entire city. During a, you guessed it, housing construction project in Turkey, workers found tunnels, then caves, and then chambers. They continued to dig until they eventually found a full-on city that dates back to 3000 BC. 
Located in Cappadocia, this region of Turkey is known for its underground cities, yet they didn't know about this one. Located beneath a Byzantine-era castle, the city is still largely unexplored, but National Geographic reports that its size could rival that of Derin Kuyu. This was the largest excavated underground city in Turkey, and it could house 20,000 people. This abandoned town had been a mystery for thousands of years, and now Turkey is hoping to be able to open it up to the public to create the world's largest antique park. I would go there. And now for number seven, but first, be sure to subscribe if you are new here and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number seven, mammoth bones. These big guys have been found in many unexpected places. A Michigan farmer and a team of workers were digging to put in a drainage system when they hit something hard. They didn't know what it was, but when they brought it up, they realized it was a massive bone. They reported it to the University of Michigan's paleontology division to figure out what it was. They came over and uncovered about 20% of the skeleton. The entire skull and two tusks along with some vertebrae, ribs, and both shoulder blades. Hundreds of people have come over to see the excavation and the bones will be donated to a museum for everyone to enjoy. Speaking of mammoths, a tusk was also found at a Seattle construction site. The fossilized tusk was about 8 feet 6 inches long and carbon dating put the mammoth tusk at around 60,000 years old. You can see it at the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture. Tons of mammoth fossils have also been found in LA during the construction of the Metro Line. Number 6 an ancient Native American. The various tribes of Native Americans can be found both above and below the earth as proven by a discovery in Florida. During construction on a road, bones were found of a 2,000-year-old Native American woman. Her bones were tested and identified as a member of the Tequesta tribe. At first, the team only found teeth and weren't really that impressed with the find, but once they kept digging, they found the rest of the remains and knew that they had to stop. Good thing, too. Amazingly, the bones were almost entirely intact. Only a few were broken, which is something given the 2,000 years they'd been in the ground. Further examination put her age at around 30, and it appears as though she died of an illness or a disease. It's unclear whether there are more bones of fellow tribesmen in the same area, but her bones are being preserved and respected under Florida law. Number five, a royal chapel. Don't you just hate it when you misplace something? You know, like your keys, your clothes, or maybe a royal chapel? Wait, you've never lost a chapel? Well, someone in England did. They're losing all kinds of stuff. Mansions, chapels. Anywho, in South London, workers were doing some work on a parking lot when they revealed an old tile floor. The archaeological team was called in and they determined that it was the royal chapel that belonged to the Palace of Placentia. Many generations of British monarchs worshipped there, including Henry VIII with his six wives. They found some glass and stonework as well as some remaining walls. So what happened to it? In 1699, it fell out of favor and was demolished to make way for a hospital. Over time, everyone forgot about it and somehow it became a very non-romantic but practical parking lot. Number 4. A Time Capsule Ah, a time capsule. There's just something poetic about the concept. Putting stuff from one time period into a safe container, hoping that one day it will be dug up and respected by those of a future generation. Well, the kids at Western High School made their own time capsule and put it under the grounds of the school and near a cornerstone, so that in 50 years, future kids could dig it up and see what was buried. One problem. Five years before that was supposed to happen, the cornerstone was taken away, along with the ground underneath it, and apparently the time capsule. So, when the 50th anniversary came around and it was time to open it, the capsule was gone. Apparently this happens a lot. There are stories of time capsules getting found by accident at high schools all over the country. Everyone's excited to put things in the capsule, but since so much time goes by, everyone forgets about it. Thankfully, a few years later, more renovation near the school took place, and as construction began, the time capsule was found, and history was restored. Number 3. The Car Park King The ancient world has many things, but it wasn't always detailed in regards to certain things, such as where to bury certain bodies of key people, like the bones of a king. Again, in a parking lot in England, this time a different parking lot, workers were digging it up when all of a sudden they found themselves looking at a pile of bones. Not something you want to find in a construction job, trust me. 
Naturally fearing the worst, like a murder, they sent the bones to be DNA tested, and when the results came back, the world went into shock. For these bones belonged to none other than King Richard III of Leicester. He died in 1485, and fun fact, his death signaled the end of the legendary War of the Roses. How did he end up under a parking lot? He was reportedly buried in Greyfriars Church, but when Henry VIII broke with the Catholic Church, it was destroyed, and finding it again took centuries. Later, the area evolved into a lavish private residence, a bank, a school, and then suddenly his grave was under a parking lot. After getting the confirmation, the king was given a proper burial in 2015 within Leicester Cathedral in England. Number 2. A World War II Bomb there is no doubt that many relics from war are buried all over the world deep within the ground. Some of them we hope just stay covered up. For example, an active bomb. This is something you definitely don't want to find as you're working on stuff. But that's exactly what happened in Belgrade, Serbia. Construction was going on when they did indeed discover a bomb. But not just a regular explosive device like a grenade, they found a one-ton bomb that the Germans had apparently dropped there in World War II and it was still active. Thankfully, cooler heads and even calmer hands prevailed. They were able to move the bomb to a secure military site far away from the public and detonated the bomb safely. The Prime Minister of Serbia noted that if the bomb had gone off during the construction process, it would have wiped out the entire area. That was a close call. Number 1. Diamonds The holy grail of unbelievable discoveries definitely has to be diamonds. And that's exactly what happened to one man in Fresno, California. Tim Jones bought a jewelry store and wanting to make something fresh and new, got construction workers to tear the place down to its foundation so he could remodel. While doing so, a construction worker found some hidden shelving, and on that shelving were diamonds. A lot of them. Ironically enough, the rights to the diamonds weren't clear. On one hand, they were found by the construction worker, but he was working for the new store owner but the diamonds might have been hidden there by the family who used to own the store. The problem? The owner had died, but his daughter wanted the diamonds back. You see the conundrum? Not always a blessing when legal battles begin, but it was an impressive find nonetheless. Thanks for watching! Which of these discoveries was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!